Now, while non-communicable diseases remain a threat to a big number of people worldwide, experts in health say that, well, they can be prevented and treated if diagnosed early. Now, according to the World Health Organization, non-communicable diseases kill 41 million people every year, equivalent to 74% of all deaths globally. They include hypertension, which has adverse effects on human health. Now, in a more detailed interview, Dr. Gashema, a gynecologist at Rwanda Military Hospital, explains the effects that it can have during pregnancy. Welcome to the health segment where we talk about various health-related matters. Today we are going to talk about hypertension, but mainly uh, in pregnancy. And today I'm joined with a guest, uh, Dr. Gashema, but he's going to introduce himself more. And then we are going to receive him. Welcome, Dr. Gashema. Thank you, Dr. Can, uh, Gashema Eritier, a gynecologist obstetrician with uh, subspeciality in high-risk pregnancies. So going more into uh, gestational hypertension or hypertension during pregnancy, uh, what is gestational hypertension? Uh, gestational hypertension is hypertension, high blood pressure that come after 20 weeks of pregnancy. And uh, the BP should be above 140 over 90 and should not be presence of uh, protein in the urine uh, at a given amount and uh, there should not be a, a problem of organ damage. Uh, when someone listens to such um, explanations, he or she can think about what is the cause of gestational hypertension, what does, what does it come from, what does it result from? So the causes till now unfortunately is the causes is not known. But uh, we know the risk factors. Uh, someone who had previous pregnancy with gestational uh, hypertension or who had uh, preeclampsia, and uh, those who, had cro who have chronic hypertension are, uh, have a risk of having this uh, pregnancy-induced uh, hypertension. And those who have multiple pregnancies, like twins, triplets, quadruplets, have high risk of having uh, a hypertension during pregnancy. Those with uh, diabetes in pregnancy have the risk of having uh, hypertension. And uh, those with autoimmune diseases, one of, like systemic lipid cell tomatosis, are those who have high risk of de developing hypertension, and the BMI, those with high BMI, which is above 30, 35, they have a risk of having uh, hypertension during their pregnancy. Mm. While you were um, mentioning the, the risk factors, you, 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 you pointed out something, preeclampsia, but we also hear of a term called eclampsia. What is preeclampsia and what is eclampsia in general? Preeclampsia is... Uh, also high blood pressure in pregnancy, but associated with loss of protein in the urine. And uh, this preeclampsia, uh, thank you for raising it, and uh, people should know about it because uh, in developing countries, it's one of the leading cause in like top three causes of maternal death. and. Uh, causes of prematurity, and we know also in neonatology, prematurity is the leading cause of uh, neonatal death. You may have organ damage, it's like uh, brain, uh, kidneys, mm. livers, and when these are damaged, uh, still you can call it, uh, with association with high blood pressure, you can call it preeclampsia. Mm -hmm. Eclampsia also it's a complication of preeclampsia. It's when a woman uh, who had preeclampsia starts to have seizures. Seizures, at this point we call it uh, pre uh, eclampsia. We are speaking about the mother, but what about the baby? Does then the baby get affected during those uh, those kind of changes that happen into the body of the mother? Doesn't it affect the baby? Thank you, it does. As we defined uh, hypertension, as there is a resistance of blood flow to different organs, 
the uterus is not spared too. When uh, a woman has preeclampsia, there is hyperperfusion of uh, blood and other nutrients to the uterus, and uh, this will lead to hyperperfusion of the placenta. And when the placenta is not well perfused, and the baby will not get what uh, all necessities that the baby was supposed to get. Mm -hmm. So at this, this will result in growth restriction. The baby will not grow well. And uh, this condition, preeclampsia, as uh, also it is a progressive disease. Mm -hmm. With time, this progress, and this may lead even to fetal demise. With this progression of the diseases, at some point we may decide to deliver the mm -hmm. baby based on the status of the baby or the status of the mother. If the mother is uh, critically ill, the kidney are affected, liver affected, or this eclampsia, sometimes we decide to deliver to, so that the mother may get well. But also the baby may, might be in danger too. Sometimes also we may decide to deliver because the baby is in danger. So one of the signs that uh, a woman might have, but sometimes they say hypertension is silent, silent killer. But at some point, a woman uh, may start to have a swelling all over the body. And when he had, but in normal pregnancies, sometimes the women may have a swollen leg, so it's sometimes normal, but it's always to ch better to check the blood pressure. Other thing is a headache, a severe headache, which might not be responding on paracetamol. If a woman is pregnant and having severe headache, which is not responding to paracetamol, it's better to consult a doctor and check uh, the blood pressure. Uh, they may have uh, epigastric pain, which is not responding on anti-acid, like uh, anti-acid at that time, the liver may, might be affected. So it's, when you have those signs, it's better to consult for a doctor. What is your advice to pregnant women or people who prepare to conceive so that they can uh, prevent such um, incidents or such, such conditions from happening? What I would recommend to women is to come to see a doctor when they are planning to get pregnant. So, so that those risks can, can be identified and explained to the women. And uh, they have to understand the conditions that they might have and the way that this can be prevented. So that is it. You heard more details about gestational hypertension and how it can be prevented. Uh, consult your doctor for more information to to help you during pregnancy and so that you can deliver your baby well. Thank you for following Olive Nete, RTV News.